video game based movies, oh, okay, you know what? No, I'm not starting with that. You guys probably know already that most video game movies aren't good and that a new one is always a cause for concern, except for Sonic the Hedgehog 2. That looks awesome and it will be awesome. But yeah, the Uncharted movie is finally here, and if you've seen my video on the trailer, you probably remember that I was very skeptical and confused regarding the direction this movie would take. I'm a big fan of the games, and the trailer for the movie didn't give me any indication if it's a prequel movie, a fan service movie, a weird combo. I didn't know what it was going to be, and I was afraid the movie itself wouldn't know what it wants to be. Well, here we are. Movie theaters are no longer Uncharted for... Uncharted. As the movie came out, and I just got back from watching it at the time I'm writing the script, and... It was alright. It's not amazing or anything, you've seen this kind of movie before. Hell, the games weren't groundbreaking themselves when it came to originality. What made them work were the fun dynamics between the characters and the awesome set pieces. Which the movie has. The movie has both of those. But something still feels off. Okay, I should mention that in order to get into my deeper thoughts about the movie, I'd have to get into spoilers. If you want my quick non-spoilery thoughts, I'd say that if you never played the games, this could be a decent introduction point for you. If you're a fan of the games like myself, you won't suffer watching the movie, you may even like some scenes and enjoy the movie fine overall, but be ready that you're most likely going to feel that something's really off about it. If you're still watching this video, then you either saw the movie or you don't care about spoilers. So you remember how I said a second ago that something feels off? Yeah, let's talk about that. The movie, to its massive credit, gets uncharted. Characters are written like their game counterparts, for the most part. Some of the action scenes are lifted straight from the games, but they are given different spins on them, which helps it feel like a new version of the story. We have the plane cargo chase from Uncharted 3, but now it's in the middle of the ocean and Nate has Chloe and Sully around to walk with throughout. The climax has a giant helicopter carrying the treasure the heroes were looking for, like the statue of Eldorado in the first game, but now it's an abandoned ship with gold in it, like the climax of the fourth game. And speaking of that, there's a scene where Nate and Sully need to steal a cross from an auction like in Uncharted 4, but it plays out differently considering they're not a team yet and Nate is still learning. There are also new set pieces altogether, like how Nate and Chloe need to explore caves with one part of a key while Sully has the other half and they need to work together to solve the puzzle fully, and how Nate uses a cannon from a pirate ship to blast a rival helicopter. The dialogue and character interactions are also really fun and give off the impression the writers of the movie did do their homework regarding how these characters should act, while spinning it up a bit so that it does feel like their first adventure together. Also, I won't lie to you guys, Nolan North's cameo and the epic remix of the Uncharted team playing in the climax after Nate puts on the gun pouch? Yeah, that fanboy in me smiled pretty wide during these parts. They may not mean much to the non-fans, but to a fan? It's those little things which make it worth it. And yes, you can bet your ass I cut that Naughty Dog logo. But now you're probably wondering to yourselves what exactly feels so off about this movie if all I did until this point is describe how much it's like the games, which I'm a big fan of. Well, you know that infamous duck speech? It acts like Uncharted. It looks like Uncharted, somewhat. It's written like Uncharted, sounds like it. It checks everything from the list, honestly but it misses the heart of it. I'm not sure what it is, but while the movie does hit a lot of the notes, there's something about it that just doesn't feel like the games. Maybe it's the direction or the weird casting, editing which is a hit and miss. I just had this weird feeling that the people behind the movie knew the source material and were clearly fans of it themselves, but they couldn't nail it down exactly. 
I mentioned the writing fits the characters and their game counterparts, but it doesn't feel like the actors were necessarily directed to say it like the game counterparts. On the one hand, it's fair, adaptation, gonna make changes, you know, I get it. But you hear a line which I could see working for Sully in the games, but not Marky Mark's version of him. And if we're on that topic, Mark Wahlberg is the worst actor in this movie. He's just so unfitting for this role, and every time he says something that would fit Sully, he just doesn't get it. Easily the biggest miscasting of this movie, and I didn't buy his character development at all. At no point in the movie does he show signs of actually starting to like Nate, or getting closer to him. And suddenly he gives up the treasure he spends his entire life searching just to save Nate? What is this rush development? The first Venom movie? Oh, it was directed by the same guy. Well, fuck me. Tom Holland may still not be my top choice to play Nathan Drake, but you know what? He got the job done. You could tell that this is a Nate which is true to himself, but also younger and picking up the traits of the job. He delivers the snarky comments well, and his development is actually one I did like and I could believe as opposed to Sully's. Sophia Ali was a good Chloe, and there's not much to say about her, she just did the part really well. Antonio Banderas was a fun hammy villain, it only sucks that he gets killed off by Tati Gabriel's character, who honestly feels like a not Nadine from Uncharted 4. And at the end of the day, everything leads back to what I said earlier. The movie is fine. It's a good time with great action and enjoyable characters. If you are not familiar with Uncharted. If you are a fan of the games, you won't hate this one, and I'd even say you'd be interested in seeing a different take on the story, which could even develop into its own thing, but you'll soon notice that there's something missing from the overall feel of it. The post credit scenes do imply that there's an interesting direction they wish to go in, and you know what? I'd be interested to see where they could go with it. I'd want to see them take another crack at this and do their own version of Uncharted. With that said though, there's a treasure that the filmmakers need to be looking for in order to make it fully work and click with the fans. And that treasure is the heart of the games, which inspired the movie in the first place. Because as of right now, all the pieces are there. I just think the heart is missing. And when the heart is missing, that is kind of a problem. By the way, Nate only says oh crap three times in this entire movie. Three times! That's it! Way to just throw in the catchphrase to say that you did it and not using it properly. Yes, this has nothing to do with the quality of the movie, but you know what? It's my video. I can be petty about it.